Hey everyone, it's Megan. I hope you're doing well and I hope that you've had a really great week. I thought that I would do a bit of a life chat today. Um, I don't know, I've just been thinking a lot, especially since last night. Um, I posted an Instagram picture at like 2 in the morning and I was burning this candle that I got yesterday at the Bath & Body Works outlet. It's called Wine Cellar Mold Wine and & Spice. And it came in this cool box and... Um, I was at the outlet mall and I didn't even know that Bath & Body Works had an outlet but um, they had this on sale for half off and it smells amazing. It smells like a lotion, like a, a Victoria's Secret lotion or something and it comes in this really nice um, jar and the um, girl who I was talking to about candles and stuff and then she was my cashier, she said that these like in these fancy boxes never even came to the stores like they only went to outlets. And I don't know why because the scents that they had were incredible. So um, I posted a picture of this at 2 in the morning and I was saying that like I have no idea what to do with my life and I'm like freaking out and stuff like that. And um, some of you guys were so nice and you like commented on it and reassured me that I'm not just like the only one who's going crazy and stuff and I really really appreciate it and like your sentiment and everything and that was really nice to see. Um, but I'm just like freaking out about a lot of stuff and it's like I'm freaking out but in like either inside or like in a calm way. It's like a, it's a really weird way for me to be freaking out because usually I'm like actually like freaking out like I'm spazzing out and like I don't know what to do and so I'm just like running around with my head cut off like a chicken with its head cut off. Um, but this time it's like weird because I'm like not mellow but I'm just like normal but that then on the inside I'm like freaking out and that usually doesn't happen it's usually like super super extreme and I'm like freaking out to every person and so I don't know it's like I think that's part of the reason that I'm really weirded out and it's pretty weird and freaky to me because that's not usually how I am when I'm like nervous and anxious so um I really don't know and as I've mentioned a lot. Um, I'm going into my final semester of college and um, I really don't know what I want to do after college and I know that I just need to apply to jobs and apply everywhere and I think the biggest part that's freaking me out is that I don't even want to like apply even though I need to and I know that I need to. Um, it's like an issue that I don't want to and um, I don't know if any of you guys who have graduated college or who are working now if you went through something like this if maybe you were the same as me and you like didn't really want to do it because you were afraid and you thought that pushing it off would push off the inevitable but it won't it'll come anyhow um, or if you're the opposite of me and you like really like pushed yourself and made yourself do it or you were excited to do it and you applied everywhere and were excited about the future. Um, I'm really excited about the future. Um, I'm just scared a lot too and I get really freaked out when people like ask me about jobs and what I want to do because I really have no idea and this is how I felt when I was applying to colleges and trying to choose a major. I really had no idea and one school that I looked at, it was one of my first schools that I looked at around my area um, and I was like I have no idea what I want to do and I was talking to um, a lady at one of like the the major tables, like the different majors had like tables and so you could talk to them and so I was just like asking her a bunch bunch of questions and she was like oh what do you think you want to do like is this what you want to major in and I was like I honestly have no idea and she was like well that's good because you're not closing off other options and so I've tried to remember that since then and told myself that it's okay to not know and it's sort of better to not have a specific idea because then you are really open to anything that happens and I don't want to um, discount any certain type of job or any field. Um, I know that obviously I'm majoring in marketing and advertising so that would be a preferred route to go down but I really like writing, I like doing videos and editing and stuff like that so 
I don't know, I think that there's a lot of opportunities and um, I just need to be open to them and I know some people like in high school they knew exactly what they wanted to go to college for and that made me nervous because I didn't know and I thought that that was like meaning that I was behind or that I should have known but you know they have changed their minds too and so it's almost better to not know exactly what you want to do because you might change as we grow up. I've changed my mind about so many things and I was such an idiot four years ago and now I'm probably still an idiot but I know more stuff and I've like reflected on things and become more of a mature person that my opinions and my views on stuff is more evolved and it's smarter than I, they, the ideas that I have now are much smarter than the ideas that I had when I was a senior in high school. So I don't know, I just think that I know it will be okay and I know being an adult will be fine and it's not like once I graduate college I'm gonna have to start like fresh, it's not like a clean slate and I won't have family and I won't have friends and I'll just have to like start all over again. Like I'll still have my support system but I'm like freaked out because this time next year I might not even live in the state, I might not live in the state that I live in during college I might like I don't know you guys I'm like so scared and um yeah it's just like this vicious cycle I keep like reassuring myself that it'll be okay and then I freak out again so <laughs> I have no idea and that's just one of the things that I've been thinking about another thing there's two other things that I've been thinking about I think I've been thinking about um therapy and also dating and so I guess therapy sort of leads into dating, so we'll start with that. Um, but I did a video, let's see, last last year, so last um, school year, which was my junior year, I did a video um, about deciding to go to therapy, and I went to therapy for about like two months um, at the beginning of my, let's see, junior year or sophomore year. All the years sort of blurred together. Okay, it was my sophomore year that I decided to go to therapy and it was right after I broke up with my boyfriend and it was after the car accident. And deciding to go to therapy was really, really difficult for me. And I ended up going just to our counseling center on our college campus because it was free and um, they're, they were really, really helpful there and really nice and like, it was just a better option than trying to find somewhere that you would have to pay for and that I would have to like drive to and stuff because I didn't have a car at that time and I didn't really have extra money to spend on that sort of thing. So um, if you're in college or even in high school and you think that you could benefit from seeing a psychiatrist, um, I would definitely recommend your um, college or high school um, counseling center because they are like licensed psychiatrists and therapists and I mean, all you have to do is show them your um, insurance card and they like document it and stuff, but you don't have to like pay them every time. So I ended up going there after like, it, it was a real struggle for me to decide to go and um, Jacob really helped me to realize that I would benefit from it. And so I went for a few months and it was, I always say that it's like a good experience that I went and I'm like proud of myself that I decided to go and ultimately went for a few months and so I met with my therapist once a week for like two months or two and a half months and um, it was helpful because she helped me see things differently or helped me like um, realize things that I hadn't realized before and she asked me questions that I never thought of before and um, just gave me a perspective from someone that didn't know me before all this happened and so it was sort of unbiased because she was just looking at it from what I was telling her but it was also <laughs> not a bad experience but just a scary experience for me because I was so nervous every time I went like I had such anxiety every time I walked there and the whole time I was there I was nervous and my back was always sweating because I was so nervous and I have a really 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 hard time opening up to people and telling them about things that are personal to me and so from the first time you go you have to like tell them your issues and like why you're there and that was really hard for me and um 
I don't know if like it helped me because I don't know that I'm any more open with people with my personal stuff. I guess I sort of am compared to what I was before that. Um, but it still takes me like years to be able to trust people and to tell them like anything about me, like anything serious. Mostly I just ask them questions and just talk about nonsense. Um, so it's really hard for me to actually talk about serious things because I don't know, I just have never been a person that talks about those things with people like casually. Like, I don't know if that's like something with my family, it probably is, but um, I don't know, it's just really hard for me to open up to people about things and stuff, especially from my past. I find it really, really hard to tell people those things, especially things like from middle school and high school when I was really depressed and I like thought horribly about myself and like I was suicidal in eighth grade and I can't bring myself to talk to people about those things because I don't know what they'll think and I don't know how they'll respond and it really scares me and so in therapy I know that there's a confidentiality and this person like she's not gonna like tell your friends all about it or your family or whatever but I thought that it was really difficult for me to tell her everything because even though I knew that she was helping me, I didn't want her to know everything. And so I don't know if um, if I would have went for longer, if I would have improved, or if I just would have been like scared still because it was bringing up things that I didn't like to talk about. It was my ex, it was the car accident, it was all those things that went along with it. And all those things were bad memories and so after a while I just thought that it wasn't really helping me as much as I think it should have. But like I said, it was free for me and um, it did help. Like I'm glad that I went and it just gave me a new perspective on a lot of things but I wouldn't want to go for a really long amount of time. I would say if you think that you need to talk to someone, if you don't think that you can talk to your friends or family about it, I would say talk to a guidance counselor or someone at your um, counseling center at your school because even if you don't go for long, maybe you'll just go one time, but that'll help you get a lot of things off your chest if you're open with them. And if you go for a few more sessions, maybe you can open up a little more every time. Because I noticed that about me going, I would open up a little more each time and she would have like questions for me to answer. I would have to talk about like my family's history um like with depression and stuff like that and also my history with it and when we went through all of that and I was open with her about like when I was depressed and what happened before it like what the triggers were it was always about loss or me leaving somewhere so I was always depressed after I lost a good friend like not um from death but just from growing apart or if we had a fight or something and our friendship was over or when I moved to college I was really really depressed and then one of my best friends stopped talking to me. So that was like a really big epiphany for me to realize that when I get really really depressed usually like sometimes like on my vlog day when I just got depressed out of nowhere um that's a different story, but when I have long spans of really low lows, that is usually when I have a loss or um, if I leave and or someone leaves me. It's always that. So that was a really great thing that I learned from going to therapy because I never really thought of it that way or I never really was introspective enough to realize that and I think since going to therapy I've become so much more self-reflective and more introspective because I realized how important it is to notice like patterns about yourself and notice um what will trigger certain emotions and sometimes for me it does seem like it's just out of the blue and it might very well be but a lot of the time there is a pattern to it or there is a specific thing that happens that triggers like 
me mood swinging crazily. So that was something really helpful from therapy. And um, I would recommend it if you've been thinking about it to go or even if you're really, really scared to go. Um, talk to someone, one of your friends or one of your family members that you think is supportive and would help you to decide to do that. And one of the other hardest things about for me to decide to go to therapy was after my first session, I um, I went home the next weekend and so I had to like tell my family and I don't know, I've always thought that going to therapy or needing like help like that has shown a weakness and I've always been afraid to talk about it to people but I've realized that telling people about it and being open with it can help people and also it's showing that you're strong enough to admit that you you really would benefit from talking to someone about anything that's going on in your life and I know all of us have horrible things happen to us whether it be mentally or things that are out of our control it's just sometimes really helpful to talk to someone outside of your circle of friends and your family and I don't know, I think therapy helped me in a lot of ways, but I think I stayed for just the right amount of time. I think that if I would have stayed for longer, it might have done more harm than good because it might have been more like a crutch and it might have made me even more anxious. But um, that was just my experience and that sort of goes along with how I've been thinking about dating is that... Um, going back to how I'm really <laughs> scared and horrible at opening up to people, it's really hard for me to find people that I trust well enough to talk to them about things and for some reason people usually tell me a lot about themselves and I don't know why <laughs> and it just sort of happens that way I guess. And um, I always try to be there for people as much as I possibly can. And a lot of the guys that I've liked or uh, my ex-boyfriend, they've all had like a lot of like mental issues and things that are just really, they, they weigh a lot on someone when they um, rely on you so much. And sometimes it's a bad thing because they're not, they have so many things that they need you for that they don't really have time to be there for you when you need them. And I noticed that in my relationship that I was, I don't want to say I was ignored by my boyfriend because I wasn't, but I just didn't get as much attention back as I gave him. And never ever date someone that thinks that their problems or anything that's going on in their life is more important than what is going on with you because I had my own issues that I was going through and he didn't think that those things were important and I just want to save all of you guys like the heartbreak and the realization of that before it happens. I don't want any of you to go through that because it's devastating and it's devastating even now that it's been like a few years since we broke up and every time that I remember that it was like that it just breaks my heart more and the fact that I didn't see that that was a really big red flag is scary to me and I am worried that things like that will happen again in future relationships and I don't know I haven't been actively seeking out people I've met a few guys that I thought were really nice but I don't know nothing really ever came of it um so I'm just a little bit freaked out about that and that's the same thing with friends as as I've gotten older I've wanted less and less to do with other people and that's really horrible and um that freaks me out a lot of the time that sometimes I just don't want to make friends at all because I'm so like sh like I want to shelter myself and protect myself and that's not like who I am really like I'm really outgoing and I really like making friends and talking to people so it scares me sometimes when I act like that because it's not who I know that I am and it's probably from all the things that have happened that I'm like this and 
want to protect myself from other people but I know that I can't do that so I'm like worried about going off after college and having to meet people and I don't even know where you meet people these days I know so many people meet online but I I really don't trust myself to do that because I would probably find a serial killer and like fall in love with him because I don't know I'm just crazy like that and I don't know um this is like so rambly and I just wanted to talk to you guys about this and maybe you got something from this and maybe you feel the same way about me about some of these things. I don't know. I just wanted to verbalize these things. I wrote a ton of pages in my journal last night because I just needed to get it all down but I wanted to talk it out a little bit and um, yeah so I'm just tripping balls right now and um, I'm about to uh, buy my textbooks for this semester. I have to go look those all up and order them which sucks and yeah so I don't know you guys. I don't know about this video. I just like doing these life chats sometimes and even if they don't like produce like a happy ending or like they don't have a real reason to them. I just sort of like chatting with you and doing these life chats has been really helpful when you guys comment and stuff because um, on my last one or a few times ago I was talking about um, possibly looking into graduate school and a lot of you guys left comments on that which was really helpful and um, yeah so if you guys have anything that you need to get off your chest or anything that's related to what I had to say please leave me a comment or write me a message because I love talking to you guys and you are so insightful and so amazing and just you all are really really incredible women and I know some of you guys are men which is really cool and um, yeah I just really appreciate all of you and yeah so let me know if you have anything to talk about because I'm always here to listen because you guys listen to me ramble all the time and I hope that you guys have had a really good week and tomorrow I will have my empties video up. Um, I have a lot of empties that I need to share with you guys so that's exciting and that will probably be my last video before I go back to school so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you have a great start to your weekend and I will see you really soon. Bye!